Why do I stand proudly behind my nude modeling work? Why do you think Melania Trump just posted this bizarre video about her nude modeling career just 48 days before a high stakes presidential election? Well, I want to play this video for you and I want to explain exactly why Melania posted it and why the timing of this video makes it that much more insidious because this video will explain the behavior of many Trump family members as we head into this final home stretch of the 2024 election, or maybe the final home stretch of Donald Trump's political career. All that I ask of you is to leave a like on the video and make sure you're subscribed below. Now, Melania in particular has been posting increasingly bizarre videos over the past few weeks and months. For example, about a week ago, she posted this video about the Constitution that is almost offensive. She shows the Constitution, she cites it, even though her husband wants to terminate rules, laws, and regulations, even those found in the Constitution, and Melania then tries to play the victim of the Mar-a-Lago raid after her husband, who was the president, stole documents and played cat and mouse with the FBI for over a year after he was the president. My privacy would be invaded by the government here in America. The FBI raided my home in Florida, and search through my personal belongings. Why did the FBI raid your home, Melania? She also tries to claim that if it happens to them, it can happen to anyone. Yeah, I would hope that if any American citizen begins to steal classified documents, that their home would be searched as well. But the reason why this post from Melania is so insidious just 48 days before the election is because it is a complete cash grab. Donald Trump, Melania Trump, Donald Trump Jr., Eric Trump, all of the Trumps are so desperate for money that they have been launching new schemes. A prime example is this article that reads, Trump plans to launch his son's crypto business on Monday, 50 days before election day. And again, the timing is important because Trump is using very valuable campaign time, very valuable campaign resources to to enrich his sons. He is playing games with American politics in order to enrich his own family. Trump, I'm not even going to call him former President Trump, plans to deliver remarks next Monday about cryptocurrency and the launch of the company World Liberty Financial, a crypto platform controlled by the Republican nominee's sons, Donald Jr. and Eric, or Dumb and Dumber. His speech will come 50 days before Election Day, an extraordinary use of dwindling campaign time to promote a personal business. That is what I was just saying. The Republican former president has long mixed his political and business interest and marketed sneakers, photo books, and Trump-branded Bibles all during his 2024 campaign. That is right. If you're a Trump supporter watching this and you didn't realize, Trump is a grifter. He is using his valuable campaign time to promote his own Trump Bibles, Trump shoes, Trump NFTs. And no, he is not just a smart businessman who is profit maximizing. Many of these ventures rely on him tricking his fans into buying products or him tricking his fans into thinking that election fraud exists. When he made up that lie about widespread election fraud, which was a lie, he funneled tens of millions of dollars from his fans and put it in his own pockets, and his 2024 campaign continued the grift. Ahead of his presidential campaign, Trump has pledged to turn the United States into the quote, crypto capital of the planet, which raises red flags that he could use the federal government to help support a business tied to his family. So he is launching a new crypto business that is being led by his sons, which is the definition of nepotism. But now Trump wants to be the president and wants to leverage his position as the president to enrich his sons. Trump opposed crypto during his presidency, but has since warmed to the sector. He has suggested the government create a strategic reserve of Bitcoin and has vowed to block the creation of a federal reserve administered central bank digital currency. I mean, this dude doesn't know what Bitcoin is, and we know that for a fact. This brings us back to Milan. Melania Trump's post today. So my broader point here, if we zoom out, is that Donald Trump is grifting through every avenue possible, whether it's his sons, whether it's the Bible and the Christians in his fan base, whether it's sneakers or the young people in his fan base, whether it's election fraud, and now he is using his wife to pump out these really weird, creepy ads where she's always just standing in the shadows for some reason. There's always black and white photos of her from many years ago. And in this one, I think what she's trying to do is a very desperate cash grab. She talks about her nude modeling work to try to sell books. Listen to this video. Why do I stand proudly behind my nude modeling work? The more pressing question is, 
Why has the media chosen to scrutinize my celebration of the Human Forum in a fashion photo shoot? Are we no longer able to appreciate the beauty of the human body? Throughout history, master artists have revered the human shape, evoking profound emotions and admiration. We should honor our bodies and embrace the timeless tradition of using art as a powerful means of self-expression. I love the swelling music in the background that doesn't quite fit the video, but let me just clarify. Liberals have never attacked Melania Trump solely because she does nude modeling work. We don't care. We are the party that wants you to express yourself. We are the party of freedom. We are the party of art. We are not the party that attacks art. But we have pointed out the hypocrisy of the entire situation. Donald Trump claims to be this family man, a conservative, conservative Christian who embraces all of the most Christian values. He reads the Bible so much he doesn't even know what his favorite Bible verse is, yet he has cheated on his wife multiple times. Stormy Daniels even said during their trial that Melania and Trump don't sleep in the same room. Quote, don't worry about that, Miss Daniels testified Mr. Trump said of his wife just one year into their marriage. Donald Trump says that he is anti-immigration. He is a conservative Christian, yet he married an immigrant who did nude modeling work, we're not attacking the nude modeling work, we're attacking the hypocrisy of the entire situation surrounding it. Again, we don't care what she does. It's also funny that she tries to compare herself to some of the greatest paintings and sculptures of all time. I mean, I could skip to any point in this video and you'd see a recognizable painting or sculpture by Michelangelo, for example, and she's saying that her quick uh, magazine cover is comparable to Michelangelo's sculptures. Again, I don't care that she did the magazine cover, that is genuinely none of my business, but I wouldn't say that it's art on this level. And she then says that they use art as a powerful means of self-expression, but liberals apparently don't want to use art as self-expression. Republicans like Trump or like a Charlie Kirk constantly talk about college-aged liberals who get liberal arts degrees, who have dyed hair, and who want to express themselves in creative ways. These people dress differently, they act differently. That is self-expression. Or what about being non-binary? What about your gender identity. That is a way of expressing yourself in certain unique ways, and Melania Trump now all of a sudden understands that when it's convenient for her. Honestly, Melania might just be trolling with these posts at this point. She's saying that Republicans are the party of art and self-expression. In this one, she says that Republicans are the party of the Constitution. Where'd it go? Right here, the U.S. Constitution. She posts a photo of the Constitution that says, we the people, and then she says that her rights were violated after her husband stole documents. Is this some elaborate troll scheme that Melania is up to? I don't know. Either way, some people might think this is AI, but this is real. This is a real video of Melania. I just It would be cheap cheaper for Melania to do the voiceover than for them to AI it. I think Melania doing it herself would be cheaper. They wouldn't do that. Either way, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like, comment a blue heart, hit that subscribe button, have a great rest of your day, and peace out.